Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mayuri Stock channel. In the previous video, we have seen the AWT, some of the AWT controls like button, then label, checkbox, checkbox groups. Now from this, we are going to start for the scroll bar, text fill and text areas. Now the here first one I have taken is a scroll bar and here are some of its constructor, the three constructor of scroll bar. Now what exactly is the scroll bar? As many of the time, this scroll bar is used to select the sum of the values which are between it. Now what exactly is the scroll bar? If you open your PDF, you will see here the arrows are there. Okay, the up one arrow and put. So this is the scroll bar and between this there is a file. Whatever the file is there, we have opened, it contains here. Sometimes here also are the scroll bar. So here will be a horizontal scroll bar and this is the vertical scroll bar. So now how exactly we are, we will create this scroll bar. So we will see it one by one. We will see the constructor and then we will see its methods one by one. Now here, the first constructor you see is scroll bar. Here it is contains the empty, empty constructor. It don't have any parameter. And what exactly it will do? By default, it will have a vertical scroll bar. Just remember this. It will have the empty scroll bar. It will have, sorry, it will have a vertical scroll bar, right? By default. Now the second one if you see is scroll bar integer style. So here the constants. In the previous video, we have seen for many of the, there are the constants. So these are the called constants and just remember whenever it's written type is always integer. Now here what exactly we have to pass. Now here we will have scroll bar dot vertical or it will have scroll bar dot horizontal means depends upon the requirement of a user we are going to pass here the style of a scroll bar so here we will pass the scroll bar and by default what is here here it is a vertical scroll bar and here we have to specify if we want horizontal we have to pass scroll bar dot horizontal or scroll bar dot vertical okay now here scroll bar in the third constructor scroll bar integer style integer initial value integer thumb side integer main and integer max now here the first one is a style as usual just remember what exactly is written is the integer okay now here we have to pass as per the requirement it will be scroll bar dot vertical or scroll bar dot horizontal now initial value now what's exactly here will be the initial value of what now this one you see here is a slider okay this is the slider from which we move we adjust on what page we wanted to go using this so this is called as thumb or a slider so what will be its initial value starting value here we have to specify and here is a thumb size that means here what is the height height of this thumb we have to specify and mean and max what is the minimum value and maximum value and just remember whenever we click on this whenever we go and here and have whenever we click on this arrow it will move towards the next line okay but whenever you click here in the middle in the middle when you try to click here in the middle it will directly move towards the next page okay so these are the constructor that we have seen of a scroll bar now we will see its methods so my dear friends now here we will see the regarding the scroll bar methods what are the methods of scroll bar now just i told the scroll bar so now here i will take for your info here i will take a horizontal and here is your thumb okay now here I will take a horizontal scroll bar. See okay, for your information. Now if suppose you are using the first two constructor that we see now just only. So if you use that, so here you should use this method set values. So this method of scroll bar will set the values. Here it contains total four parameters. The so initial size. What is the initial size of a thumb? If you place here one, then it will be at the start. Now thumb size. What is the height of the thumb? That you have to mention what will be the height of the thumb, then the minimum value and the maximum value of the thumb. Now just I told that when you click here in the middle, it will move towards the next page. And next page will be nothing but your block. Just remember, 
Okay, the page means block and when we click on here, it will move towards the next line. It will move slowly, slowly, step by step. So that will be called as a unit. Okay, just remember this thing. Now the next method. Now suppose I wanted to know the value. What is the value of initial value? Initial value. So here is int get value. This will return me the value of my thumb. What exactly is the position of this thumb? Okay. Now here set value and contain one parameter new value. Here I have to pass the new value at which value the thumb should be. My thumb should be. So it will position to the next value which is specified in this parameter. Now moving towards the next is integer get minimum and get maximum. So this parameter if you wanted to know the minimum and maximum value of a thumb. So here it will return get minimum and get maximum. So here again I will tell just remember its signature just remember its return time. As I told unit increment and block increment. So here we are going to specify new value for the block increment and the unit increment. As I told unit increment is nothing but it will move towards the next line. So new value and from means what exactly should be your value. By what value should be moved towards the next line? If you suppose you specify here 2, by 2 line it will move. If you have specify uh, whatever the block value, then it will move as per that block value towards the next page. Now here, let me tell, if you have not specified these, what will be by default value? Just listen it carefully. Your minimum value, sorry, the increment of your unit of your unit increment that is next line is by default one and the page increment or the block increment by default is 10 just remember it forever which will be asked for your mc so these are the methods regarding the scroll